Welcome to the Black Frog, a Thief 2 fan mission, a Thief 2 campaign uh, by Jetan. It uh, continues on from the events in Emily Victor, although it's not a direct sequel, it does, it does reference them. Let's um, read the summary. This story takes place several years after the Metal Age. There's so much life in this cursed village. It's the main village party, the Sea Songs Festival. So people enjoy, laugh and sing. But Garrett will not have time to rejoice at the festivities. He's here to meet a messenger named Irvin, who was sent by a rich local lord, Sir Belmont. Tonight Garrett will find Irvin in one of the inn rooms of the Three Heroes. Here the messenger will give him all the details about the contract proposed by Belmont. Walk and dance. Dance and sing. Sing for your carefree spirit. Dance for your fleeting existence. Then look upon me without fear and gaze into the depths of your soul. Songs are now silent, dances now stilled. I am your emptiness. I am your truth. In me you'll see reflected each torment of your misery. Consumed with the power of the mirror, I am the Black Frog. Chronicles of the Island. Mission 1. Songs and Laughter. Changes look I'm gonna go with I'm gonna go with expert throughout this mission. Um Get Down's mission seems to be pretty well balanced, I think. And from the README, I don't think it applies in this one, but there's definitely the subsequent missions there's definitely some op optional objectives that uh, become a thing in expert. Meet the messenger in one of the rooms of the three heroes in. Steal twelve hundred in loot, but keep your eyes open as the inhabitants are crafty and hide their valuables well. Optional. Once you've completed your tasks, get back to your flat. It's the letter we got from Sir Belmont. Mr. Garrett, as previously and mutually agreed upon, you will meet Irvin, one of my trusted men, at the Three Heroes Inn. Go to the first room on the second floor. He will tell you about our recent conversation regarding this high-end piece of art that I wish to buy. I somehow doubt that, doubt that buy is the proper word to use. This painting has great value to me, financially and personally. Therefore, I wish you to take special care on this mission. I know your reputation. I am not one to deal with amateurs. Go to the inn and discuss this with my messenger. He will give you all the details of this mission. Once the painting is in your possession, return to that same room at the Three Heroes Inn, where you will hand deliver it to me. Be warned, Garrett. No tricks or... what? Well, but I imagine that you're a smart man. Sir Belmont. You're not one for dealing with amateurs, it's only amateurs say no tricks, because they expect tricks from amateurs. Professionals, more important things to do. Well, some bread. It's nice, nothing to read. I don't have my blackjack or sword, but there was a note saying that, you know, there's people in this town, it's a festival, people are friendly. I'm not going to need weapons, and I guess I will trust that. Do I have a map? I do not. So we go and find the inn, and see what we can pick up on the way. I mean, I guess I'll see what I can pick up before we get there. I don't even have rope arrows, so... <laughs> um, 11th Festival, Songs of the Sea. I guess I was also, I think I was saying I'll try and steal what I can before we go to the three heroes. Because, um, otherwise I don't, I don't know what what's going to happen when we complete the mission, right? Are you coming to the fair tonight? Don't forget about it. There are plenty of music, but also lots of alcohol. The Three Heroes Inn will be open all night, then we can have a snack at the Good Belly, and afterwards we can walk around the streets just to see and listen to the singers and the musicians. 
Come, Norby will be there. Norby is so funny when he's drunk. He does the dance of the Builder's Child. This will give us a good reason to make fun of him. Ah, oh, come on, nothing ever happens here except this fair once a year. Let's take advantage of this. Higgins won't be part of the celebration. He's still going after his treasure. What a stupid guy. He's convinced that Pingus, the old sexton, buried a treasure near the church that he found recently in a wreck at Shipwreck Cove. Well, old wives' tales. Can you picture old Pingus grabbing a shovel and digging a hole in the ground with his arthritis and his bad leg? Nah, I'm saying this is all lies. So we're waiting for you tonight. There will be quite an ambience. Well, if it's like last year, there won't be many people, but we seldom have anything happen here, so we should not miss this chance to have some fun. Nick. I can't take that, but uh, treasure? Treasure near the church, huh? Treasure near the church. We've got crates if we want them. Hey, guys. I mean, it's still pretty light. The evening's barely begun and you're already drunk the them. Here's a festival. Ah, the joys of youth. Do I have to read the sign? No, I can't. Does anybody throw coins in this fountain? They do. All the coins fall out of his pocket. The music is quite loud, isn't it? I'm going to just turn that down a bit. That was, that was as loud as it should have been if I was uh, standing right by the people, but... I mean, it's not like one sitting around in the fountain is unprecedented, right? Nobody should worry about me doing that. Can't climb those vines. Hey, man. Any dances? Plenty of crates if I want them, alright. Now well, there's a balcony up there. Can I climb this? No, but I can stack crates out here, right? <coughs> Can you jump on that? Can you mantle it, please? Yes. Well, I we can probably get across there now, right? People probably won't be happy with me breaking into their houses, right? Higgins has not. Lillian, don't wait for me tonight. I cannot go to the fair with you. No, no, please don't cry. I know that you are so happy to be going to the fair, but I feel that I've almost reached my goal. Didn't you notice that old Pingus was lurking around the church? I am convinced that his famous treasure is nearby. It is in the cemetery. I know it. I can feel it. I know you will forgive my absence, knowing that I will soon cover you with gold, my love. I will dig up the old graves all night, and we will be rich. Nobody has ever found that treasure. I remember that guy, Schultz, who was also searching for the loot. I checked his writings and he was totally wrong. Besides, no one knows how he, knows how he disappeared. I was smarter. I followed old Pingus. At first he didn't notice me. He's so deaf and myopic. Unfortunately, a friend who was passing by a bit later recognized me and hailed me. Thus my shadowing failed. However, I saw that the old man was going toward the church. I think that if I could have followed him all the way, he would have literally opened the path leading to a stash. An old Scrooge like him must check his treasure many times daily just to make sure it hasn't been stolen and he can't stop coming back to the place where he sleeps. Aha! It is in the cemetery, I tell you. I will give you a huge pearl necklace, my darling. You know, one of the shiny ones that you like so much. Oh, and if the treasure is not in the cemetery, I will still follow old Pingus, as he will eventually lead me to his hiding place. 
Or I can steal his cane and beat him with it until he confesses where he's hidden it. Higgins. I do have my lockpicks, okay. Okay. It's less money there than in the fountain. <laughs> Fair enough. Let me go downstairs. Ah. Let's just see where the downstairs goes. Oh, I see. So all my all my crate stacking was entirely unnecessary. Oh well, it it felt fifi to do so, right? What happened there? Oh, just kind of got stuck. Let's go quietly. So we're not caught burgling. Hello? Aha! Uh -huh. What have you got there, man? I'm on the mantelpiece, I think. <laughs> Mantle the mantelpiece. Oh, we don't want to wake this fellow, not now that we've taken his money. Now that one, he had a hundred gold in there, that was... that was worse. Festivities... Oh! Okay. <clears throat> well, I'm gonna run back upstairs. There's another window here. I was gonna say I have no idea where I am, but now I reckon there's a fountain. Okay. Apples? Beautiful. Well, hopefully I won't be getting into too much, uh, in harm's way too much today, but, uh, you never really know. Where are you? I can see, but I can't see you. You must be behind the cupboard there. I wonder if there might be a uh, passage behind that cupboard. I mean, I suppose the light is not a problem, there's no, no one around. Okay, well, hang on. Hold on there, Ratty, I will not, I've not forgotten you. Nothing. Nothing here. <sighs> Hello. 
valuables under the bed. What was the objective? 1200. We're uh, almost halfway there already. Which either means we've looked at a very small mission and uh, covered almost half of it. Or well, it means there's a fair bit more loot in this town and 1200 is just a convenient, you know, recommended starting place. Hello. It's a block. Hiding a switch. Or is a rat just sitting under there? A rat is just chilling under there. Maybe there isn't a secret passage. I wonder if I might be able to see. Well, it's as close to the wall as it gets. It doesn't really look like it's hiding a secret passage, though, does it? I guess it's just a rat. Yeah, all right. Rats. The rats are showing that. All right. I think we're done in this house. In this house, then. Been there. Hmm. Sorry, ma'am. <coughs> Electrics, huh? Oh, but there's uh, an upper level. <gasps> Good, is it? Hello, what's that glow from? Maybe just we just light shining in the window. Oh wow, even the mechanists are drunk. Left up, you don't see that often. Really must be festival time. They're usually so uptight, so straight laced. Okay. Do you have any valuables? Do you have any secret switches? Either works. Wait a minute, is this, where, is this where I saw the note that I picked up, or is this a different open window? I don't think it'll be now that way. Huh. What is, what is this? People! Villagers! You can't, you can't do this. You can't have a whole house with nothing to steal. There's, there's... There's gotta be a law against that, right? Nothing on the door frame, no. Wow. Well, I'm not going to, uh... Is it your house again? Oh, we're back here. Wait, so that was the... St oh, that was that stairway. Okay. Hmm. No witnesses, please. Yeah, you just saw me crouching by a door. Holding a lockpick in my hand. Nothing suspicious. Oh, we could have gone in the window. 
Don't. And then picking the lock would have been as easy as uh, much easier from the inside. If I even needed to bother. Hair rush. Well, you got some coins here at least. Anything else? You got a stuffed cover man head. Probably fake. I mean, a real live cover man seen in several hundred years. No, oh, right, that was just up there. So we keep going east. The, uh, the water is there. Hey, Ratties! Oh, is that the three heroes? It might be the inn that I'm supposed to visit. Let's let's not go in there just yet. If so, we have more streets to explore. Can I climb the ivy? Nope. No, oh, there is windows up there. <laughs> Have I been here? Well, at the signs point, yes. Is that the best you can do? He's not scared of us yet. Damn you! You don't like the music, huh? Throwing any more dangerous implements at these poor people. We've been in there. I don't know. Oh, yes, surely I have. <laughs> well, the balcony's up there. I mean, should we steal their tips, you know, that's, that's... Surely it's pretty uncool, but nobody sees me do it. That's a bit of a crate. That's three heroes, okay. Hello, is that a, maybe a ledge there I could get on to? Yes, old Pingus, okay. Maybe I should be following him. See if he'll lead me to his treasure. The music is still pretty loud, but no, I'm gonna I'm gonna turn that down a little more. Warehouse. No more guard duty. Six half and years of guard duty. I'm gonna put my finger up and say I've had enough. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Do you mind not walking into me?
Oh, that was Mr. Fingers talking to himself, but no, that was someone else. This is him talking to himself. I mean, he's probably just going around the town, right? Will he really leave me to treasure? I have my doubts, but you know. What else are we going to do? Dance drunkenly? Oh, he looks like he's going to the old cemetery. Well, it might be that he just needs to use the toilet now. And... He left the gate open behind him. Always so tired now. Can't remember when I had a good dark sleep. Always so much to do. Wait till it's well clear and not suspecting a thing. Objectives. Congratulations, you found Old Pinkus a treasure. I mean, it was a crown, it's worth a little bit. Not, not quite. Oh, old rusty keys. That's for this gate. That is for this gate. Right, I guess I could have climbed over the gate, maybe. Can I go there? <laughs> It's a little weird. I can do levitation too. Well, he's going to think his, his treasure is quite safe then, isn't he? Well, alright. I don't know how I would have got in without tailgating. But, uh, you know what, let's leave the old rusty key here. I don't think we're going to need it anywhere else. Maybe can I can I drop it on the mushroom? Well, oh, under the mushroom will be fine. Ah, you're digging for the treasure in the cemetery, yeah? Hey, man. Why are you digging your bones? The treasure's not there, I tell you. Higgins. You're wasting your time here. I wonder if I can open that drain in that well. Could easily hide a switch behind these uh oh, this ivy. just as a story and he doesn't have anything to steal. 
I mean, they already stole the money from his house, right? May the builder bless us with lots of gold. They don't even have gold candlesticks. These, these poor Hammerites. Very poor. Well, there is a trapdoor to a belfry, but uh, I don't have any ropes, so that's not going to do me any good. Maybe there's nothing in here. Nobody dropped anything when they were sitting in the pews. Doesn't look like it. Huh. Be throwing coins in this fountain? No. I wonder what Pingus is going to do when he comes back and finds his, his treasure gone. I guess. I don't want to be there to, see, to find out, right? I mean, I would like to be there to find out. Is he nearby? Well, he's coming back again, you know? Maybe we follow him and see. He's almost very civilized with their uh, steel garbage bins. See, you can talk about artificially lengthening your videos, you just follow fingers around, you know. He's so slow. Oh, he's not even going to the church right now. I mean, maybe he is, maybe he's just taking a long route. Throw nothing, guard. Yeah, he's going back to the church. All right, let's. He's almost there. Let's 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 go ahead of him and find out, right? And just watch, watch what happens. What's he gonna do? <laughs> Nothing? 
His treasure's gone and he didn't notice. Okay. He didn't put more treasure there, did he? <laughs> Okay. Right. Um, I'm a little disappointed he didn't have any reaction there, but let's go back to... Hello, have I checked out that? No. Doesn't have been. Go back in here, where I, where I was about to explore when I saw him again. Ah, somebody sleeping here, so we'll be quiet. What? I need a key? Thought, I thought for a while I was just pressing the same hotkey over and over again, because that tends to happen. Do you keep a spare key anywhere? Secret? Yeah, I've just got an upstairs window, but I can't reach it. Hmm. I'm gonna go get my crates. And then maybe I could reach the upstairs window. Oh wow, you're having fun there, man. <laughs> Captain, I'm writing this because I'm always under the impression that you aren't listening when I'm talking to you. I'm complaining about the conditions under which you make your men work. I.e. me. I'm waiting all day for the end of my shift in this drafty cold tower. Got nothing to do but watching old Pingus go by. Except when he stops and tells me about his arthritis or about his bug farming. Play cards. Sometimes but playing alone doesn't give me a chance to win anything to help pay my rent. I'm bored, bored, bored. I'm going to tell you something that I'd like a lot. I'm telling you because I trust you and I know that with you I can speak freely. I would like you to change my guard duty with Gurneys. You know that guy who patrols next to the three heroes in? Well, I'd like a change so I can walk around a bit. Also, Gurney can take advantage of the fair. Besides this annual fair, nothing ever happens in the city. The only thing worth remembering is when Mrs. Bondy's chicken tried to hatch her eggs in the generators. We laughed so hard that time. You remember? Well, that was three months ago. Mrs. Bondi got herself a cat since. So to forget my board and my drink, I'd like to add that you will be responsible for my cirrhosis if you don't do something. Devoted and faithful sergeant, but in distress. Flint. <coughs> Only stacking chairs, deal with the boredom, man. Eh? Ah. Pet peeve. Fan missions that make it look like there's uh, an attic. When there isn't. We've been here? There's another house with a ship's wheel on the wall. There seems to be quite a few of them, but I guess it's a coastal town. Must be a lot of would be nautical types. Or would be piratical types. Aha. Pirates gotta hide their loot somewhere, right? another crown. Alright, there we are. 970, we are getting close to that we go. Ma'am, do you mind if I take your crates? Oh. I can't. Anything in the barrel? Nope. Going around in circles, kind of. Another ship's wheel. And an anchor. Uh, I mean, that looks like it might be hiding something, but who can say? Can't swing the anchor or spin the wheel or anything, no. Uh-huh. 
Hey, Pinkus. Your treasure is safe with me, don't worry about it. The mayor's house. Oh, can we pick this lock? There I am healing the same. Yes, we can. See, I am healing the same here over and over again. Without realizing it. Stabbing blindly at the function keys in the dark. Tasting wine, Mr. Mayor, or Ms. Mayor, I don't know which. Sleep at the desk. There we go, that's the loot goal. I can't jump to that one, but I could jump to this one. <laughs> Who did I hear singing to themselves? How do I get down without hurting myself? <clears throat> oh, there's, is there someone down there? Yeah, so I'm just chilling in the park, I guess. I mean, maybe that gate isn't even locked, so being up here doesn't do me any good. Yeah, it's not even locked. Hello, ma'am. In remembrance of all men, fathers, sons, brothers, and husbands who died at sea, may the builder receives them in his heart. And, uh, leave money for them. Just collecting the donations, ma'am. It'll go to the life saving fund. Saving my life. More crates. Okay, I forget where I wanted to stack them. I did want to stack crates, so you know. Let's uh, start a small crate pile. Oh yeah, the customs warehouse. Lift out of order. Please use the ladder to access offices. Sorry for the inconvenience. Okay, fair enough. Windows a bit too narrow to climb out of. I can't destroy the banners because I have no sword. Won't need a weapon, let's say. Wake up to the sound of this being opened. Otherwise, I could be in trouble. Oh, he's a deep sleeper. Try not to wake him up then. See what's out the door. Oh. 
Walk gick inte bra, okej. Okay. Ja, jag har inte satt den Some apples. Nothing? How about bread? Wow, the food! All full of sugar and no nutrition. Alright, well, let's take our crates. Let's see if I can't find my way back to where I wanted to use them. What's around here? Will three be enough? I hope so. Of course, it could be there's nothing up there. That was just entirely a waste of time. But you know, it's a festival. We've got to do fun things like crate stacking. It's, 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 it's time honored tradition. People, the villagers compete to see who can stack crates higher, highest. And there's a prize in the form of loot. A golden loot is given to the winner. Three should be plenty. Sometimes Garrett has trouble mantling. Let's try putting that a little... A little further from the torch. Step staircase and get up it anyway. No? Ah, <laughs> oh, now we're kind of stuck underneath the top. Come on, Garrett. Shouldn't be as hard as all. You know what? I'm just going to get a couple more crates. From the other pile. The window doesn't even open. All that for nothing. So how do we how do we get in then? Shit, door is locked. Definitely can't pick it. I mean, we've only found one key, right? You're not hiding a key down here. Spare key. How about underneath the bin? I mean, I suppose that bin doesn't move. Under the pop plants for an additional place. Alright, well, maybe that's. 
Maybe that's somewhere important, or maybe maybe it's somewhere unimportant. Uh, we've got to meet the messenger. Did I go in here? Yeah, this is the pirate place. Yeah, yeah. Okay, let's just say a quick scout. See if there's anywhere I haven't been. Doesn't seem to have any loot for me. We haven't been to the mechanists. Hail, friend. Hail. Thou wert not with the order of the hammer before. Hail. Fah, thou hast no idea what I speak on. Thinkest thou thine own soft body of leaky flesh and wheezing gases is glorious to the eyes of the builder? Nay, tis thy soul that is the only thing of any. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That bottle. The three heroes in. Follow the thief. The target is the messenger. Return to the island, the lady will be grateful. Oh. Was that the instructions to the mechanist or to somebody else? Suspicious. I mean, he does seem to be following me, doesn't he? Maybe I'll just go, so go in a way that you can't follow me? But a breeze and nothing more. A butter breeze? Breeze made out of butter? Oh, she has a ring. Okay. <gasps> okay. Well, hmm. And that's where it started. And I went in there. So I haven't been, or is that, uh... Well, she's chasing him now, is it? the three heroes in. There's this upper level as well that I've not been in, and there's various rooftop rooms. Hmm. Taffer. That's a strange, strange thing, man. My darling, I will allow you to go to the fair tonight, but only if you obey the following rules. 1. Never lose sight of Stephen. Always stay close to him. 2. If you see that weird mechanist, move away from him right away. Do not talk to him. Since the mechanist order died, we see more and more of their haggard members roaming the city streets, muttering incoherently. 4 men. 3. If Stephen wants you to follow him to the inn, firmly refuse. I don't want my daughter to become a drunk, or worse. 
Four. If you see a man approaching you to offer you candies, for example, flee. We have enough for two young unwed mothers in the family. And five. You come back home by eleven. If you're one minute late, I will call the guards. And you know how old Gurney behaves when he's drunk. Enjoy your evening, my darling. Your loving mother. A little too strict, perhaps. Okay, so this is the... One of the rooftop windows I saw that I was suspicious of. Okay. And another door to the inn. And I've been up there. Let me just double check. I've been around here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Hello. Oh, that's the mayor's house. I've been up there. So there's that one house I couldn't unlock, and... Well... I guess we'll take it. So which way do we go into the inn? I guess we just waltz right in the front door, right? What's the instructions? Blah, blah, blah. Where are we meeting him? First room on the second floor. Festivities are in full swing here. <laughs> More crates if I wanted them. Lots of you of the outside. You don't have good wine, do you? Got all the cheap stuff in. That's just the side bit of that, right? That I, I saw it earlier. Alright. Oh, get away from all the noise. Okay. That's the room we gotta go to, so let's. Is there another room? No. Alright, well, let's go meet this fella. You must be Garrett, right? Indeed. Excellent. No! That was... No, we never saw that coming. New objectives. Uh, damn, it wasn't supposed to happen like that. Find some information about your next mission. Archer's oh, still asleep there. That's... So who... Dang it. I should have looked quicker. Well, Evan's sister's house key. Well, we can go see Evan's sister. Garibaldi Mansion map? Alright, there's some information. What's this? Irvin, I'm so happy that you're taking the time to visit your sister. It's quite fortunate that you are coming to this little city for your work. I'd like to have you for dinner, and if you want, you can stay overnight. I'll make some room for you. We have so much to tell each other. I know that your work for Sir Belmont keeps you really busy and that you don't have much time to write to me. I'm sending you, enclosed to this letter, a spare key for my home because you were really vague about the date you were coming and I don't want you to find a locked door. Your loving sister. Hmm. This key could be useful. Oh, the, the arrow's gone. I was going to take it <laughs> and, have, and actually have a weapon, but never mind. Uh, we probably better leave leave the body. Can't close the door. You know what? People will be suspicious if I go back downstairs, right? Let's not go back downstairs. Right, this door's not even been opened yet. People will be suspicious if I don't steal everything inside. You're sleeping like a baby. Who are you? <laughs> Dear, I regret so much having wasted my time in this small city. Sorry, I mean this town. The artists here are getting more and more mediocre, and I doubt that we will ever find the gem that will make us rich and famous. I'm telling you, this annual fair won't last much longer. Not so long ago, these streets were full of strollers, musicians, and singers. Today, only three bands perform there. How sad. I'll be back soon. Merle. <laughs> Gem that will make you rich and famous, huh? Mm -hmm. Is that something I would be able to find in this mission, or is that uh, a teaser for the next mission? I don't really know. Mm -hmm. 
feels like the kind of thing that might be in this mission, but I really don't know how long to do. Oh, that's the guy who throws throwing crates, right? I said, I've seen someone there. All right, well. Okay, we have a sister's house to go to, but before we do, let's just see if there's any evidence up here of who may have been firing that shot. <sighs> Nothing. I must have been standing here to do it. I did hear a door closing just shortly afterwards, but I couldn't see anyone. So, uh, I guess we're going to... Sister's house. If I can remember where it is. It was out near the church, right? Oh yeah. I did not my know my way around this town. <laughs> Have I been here? Yes, yes, yeah, here we are, here we are. Ma'am, I've got bad news about your brother. Before I give you the bad news. Hmm, let's eat, eat all your food. Read this note. It's probably Irving's instructions. Eleven. Here are your instructions. Rent a room at the Three Heroes Inn. Stay there until a man named Garrett comes to meet you. He is a thief. You will recognize him easily. He has all the characteristics of one. This is what you need to tell him. Verbatim. One and a half days walk to the east on the Traders Road. There is the residence of a wealthy collector and famous inventor, Lord Vincenzo Garibaldi. That man owns a painting, the portrait of a woman. The painting's title is The Lady of the Shadows. That is the portrait that Garrett will steal. Tell him that this painting is protected by elaborate security systems and that he will obviously need to get the appropriate equipment for such a task. Alas, I cannot advise him any further about the security systems protecting the painting. Gary Valdi is inventing new systems all the time, so it is impossible to have long-term reliable information about them. Tell him that once it is done, he should hand deliver the painting to me in this inn, in this very room. I will pay him then. Go, Irvin, and bring me back the details of your conversation. Here is a partial map of Garibaldi's manor that you must give to Garrett, Lord Belmont. Alright, get back to my flat. I guess that's all we have left to do. Alright, let's, uh... Leave the spare key for her. So nobody's gonna break into her house, so... Would be uh, very rude. And uh, look, I've had a delivery of four crates of assorted goods to you. That's you know, free bonus. Where was where was I staying? Where was my place? I don't really remember. Now oh, we came past these guys early on, didn't we? Was it out this way? Hmm. It was near the window that I stacked the crates at, right? Wasn't there. That's the inn, that's the three heroes inn, so that's not the place. Oh, we came past this place. Yeah, yeah, it must be that must be this way. Right, we came past them, this is where there was the note in the window. Here we are. Alright, hello. Someone else has been here. Yep. 
We know the nature of the task Sir Belmont gave you. Be careful, Garrett. What seems totally normal may sometimes conceal the most unlikely truth. Keep it, Gerald. Well, well, well. My friends, the Keepers. Could this portrait be the perfect bait? There we are. Why did someone want to assassinate Irvin? Thankfully they didn't hadn't followed him. They only knew about the inn, they didn't know about his sister, so they didn't get the information there. Why do they want me not to get the information? Mysteries. Uh, I missed, speaking of mysteries, I missed quite a lot of trees, no, treasures. You know, the other things. Um, yeah, and two secrets. Fair enough. Not, not terribly surprised. Alright, let me make a save. And uh, next episode, we will continue and see uh, see what is behind this mystery. See what we uh, can find out about Garibaldi. I'll see you then.